Alrighty everyone, I'm Coach Ryan. This is I'm Coach JJ Watt. <laughs> Coach Javis. Yeah, ladies love him. <laughs> but anyways, uh, just going into more speed work and drills. We just want to explain a few that can really help you out as far as opening up hip, working on stride, knee drive, and cycling. Uh, first drill, we call it the A skip. Uh, a lot of sprinters know how to do it. We're just going to demo it for you so you can start practicing. It's go only going to make you faster and better. So first off, Coach Jones. So first off, with the A skip, like Coach Ryan said in his sprint videos and his speed work videos, <clears throat> you really want to get your knee up, all right? That knee drive is very important to anything that you do when you're trying to sprint, all right? Like you said, most people try to run behind them or their knees don't get really high. The A skip is really working on that development of getting your knee drive up. The second important part is what I like to tell people is you get your knee up, your heel up, and your toe up. So most people do A skips and they go like this. You'll see their toes down. That's, that's the incorrect way. That's not the way we want to do it. We want to be able to come up with our knee, knee up, heel up, toe up. Keep it flexed. Keep that foot flexed. Knee up, heel up, toe up. All right? And as soon as you get that knee up and that heel up and that toe up, you want to come down to the ground and then you want to switch. So I'm going to show you a slow version of it. So you want to go up. Up, 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 up. Really up, drive those up, knees. Up, up, up. All right. You want to stay constantly moving and really driving those knees up and keeping those heels, keep your heels up and your toes up. The next and the third important thing, last but not least, you want to focus on your arms. Notice my arms are right here. Some people will keep their arms here. If you're running this way, you're going to run side to side. You're not going to run straight. If your arms down here, you're not going to get any momentum. So go your arms, so go you. So you want to be here, all right? So full speed. Once you get to my level, it's going to come natural to you. So. That's the A skip. All right, so next exercise we have is the B skip, all right? We're going through the whole alphabet today, all the way to Z. No, well, it's the B skip, all right? This is another important part to the sprinter's development of their cycle, all right? It's just like the A skip, but the difference of the A skip and the B skip is you really cycle your leg through. So you're going to drive the knee up, the heel up, and the toe up, and you're going to cycle through. Cycle. Cycle, all right? When we say cycle, everything's in front. We don't mean cycle and come back here. You'll see most people do the B skip. They'll come. They'll try to run. They'll do the B skip, and they'll come back here like this. They'll come back here, right? You're, 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 you're putting you know, a hole in the coffin, you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're going to be slow as molasses. We want you to be able to gain as much ground as you want. So we really want you to drive that knee up and come out and cycle. Everything is in front. Everything is in front, all right? We're not driving back like this. We're up, out, right. cycling through, all right? Just to let you know, really think about clawing the ground. If you notice me and uh, Coach Jones, our foot, you can hear it when we come up and cycle. You can hear the turf and we're really clawing the ground. So if you see my toe and my heel, it's flexed. Just like me up, heel up, toe up. So when I hit the ground, my whole ball of my foot is on the ground so I can explode and gain ground and go faster. That's it. So Coach Jones, you want to show them the beat skip? All right, so here's B skip in a quick version, all right? We're gonna get to the B skip. You get the same rhythm, get your body going if you have to. This kind of helps me get my momentum, get my little, my swagger, all right? So it gets me here. So as I go, try to up. Cycle, 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 cycle. That there is the B skip, all right? That's important to sprinter's development as well as the A skip, okay? Perfect. Alrighty, and lastly, we have the C-skip. This really uh, opens up your hips, gaining flexibility. The more flexible you are, the more faster your legs can turn over, just like the B-skip, and the faster your knee drive can go in the A-skip. So we call this the C-skip, um, and uh, let's explain it real quick. So when I say opening up our hips, this is how the C-skip goes. You're gonna drive your knee up, Straight forward, just like the A, come down, 
and then you're gonna drive your knee outward. Same leg. So when I come down, I'm coming out. It's gonna open up my hips, open up my groin, increase flexibility, and knee drive. So here, here. And then you switch to your left. Here, here, out. Remember, keep your arms going straight. I'm just gonna show you a little version, and then Jay's gonna show you the real thing, because it does take some uh, rhythm, and clearly, you know, he got the rhythm. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show you. This is how it looks. Ow. 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 Maybe I do have some rhythm. But anyways, Coach Jones, show him what it looks like. So you get the rhythm going, you get your swagger going. Notice how I get my body going, get my rhythm. Up. Up. He's going fast as well. He's driving his knees as high as he can. This is what it looks like. That there is the C skip. Full speed, full blow and go. Get your body going, get your hips open. As the knee drive keeps my knee, my knee up, my heel up, and my toe up.